Hello, Frosty Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades with your longtime disappearing host, Blue Ankylo. So, um, I, I do apologize for being away for so long. For those of you watching these as they go published, those of you watching them in the playlist years later, uh, you know how it is. But yeah, life is, uh, people have been sick, life has been busy, real world stuff has been getting in the way. I'm a terrible procrastinator, so that's what's happened, basically. Not to make a bunch of excuses. Anyway, uh, we are at the entrance to the Frost Giant Village, I believe. I came through this teleporter from the uh, Well of Knowledge. And I believe this is the Frost Giant Village. We've just poked our nose in here before once. And I think we hopefully, in the previous couple episodes, finished exploring the crevasses between the dungeons and the village. I, we also found a, a shortcut back to the ruins of Old Verdigree and yada yada yada, but eh, it's nothing too exciting. Um, I don't think I've done anything in between episodes, so everything should look pretty normal. Oh, I did do one thing. In order to try to fix, um, to speed things up a bit, I turned uh, the difficulty down from champion back to veteran, which is like normal difficulty. This should only affect the number of enemies in random encounters, as I've previously explained. Uh, but hopefully this makes the random encounters a little bit less time consuming. Uh, so I don't waste my life and yours just fighting spiders and stuff forever. Uh, we'll get a little bit less experience, so people might not get quite as high a level, but uh, I'm sure we'll manage. Did I ever change the speed? Game speed seems okay. I've actually got like the emulator speed for DOSBox pretty high, so you could turn the speed down here a little bit, and you'd have more time to read um, the, the pop-ups for damage numbers and stuff. I'll turn that down just a touch, because I know that's been a problem in some of the previous videos. Okay, so I've never been here before. Uh, let's have a look around. At least we got our auto mapper working again. You dig through piles of ice, and then ice boulders rain down upon you. Well, that's less lovely. <laughs> ice boulders continue to rain down upon us. That's just, just lovely. Welcome, welcome to the Frost Giants, right? Uh... Our choices are to bash it, or that's it. Um, well, Shinga's pretty tough. He can probably bash it down. You feel the door starting to give way, but it is still blocking your way. Meanwhile, the boulders continue to bombard you. Well, that's great. I wonder if, like, this is, like, an extended strength test where behind the scenes there's, like, some dice rolling and strength modifiers being applied. We're trying to break this door down, and the, the stronger you are, the quicker you can get it if you're lucky with good rolls and stuff. Anyway, let's keep bashing it. I'm sure we'll bash it down eventually. There you go. Good work, Shinga. Ah, so there's ice all over the place. That's fine. Now what? Guards charge out of the two side doors. It sounds like a pincer attack. Uh, it doesn't actually look like a pincer attack. Um, I guess maybe the game isn't quite as complicated as that, that you can get surrounded yet. I thought some of these old gold box games could do that, but looks like we just got some frost giants. But quite a few of them, to be fair. I imagine this is a scripted battle, so I don't think the difficulty setting we've picked really will make much difference. Um, see, I'd like to make like a line, maybe along here, so I could kill these three frost giants first, and then I can move all the melee fighters up to sort of block those guys. Although they're going to be throwing boulders at us anyway, so... Yeah. Fella should also do quite a lot of damage because he's got that uh, ranger-y bonus versus giants thing. Well, he only hit once, but he did good damage. Sarius currently has a scimitar equipped. Let's move him around. Try to kill this guy. Good. I could throw a fireball in there, but I think we'll be okay. Pixel smack them a bit. I haven't noticed they're terribly accurate with throwing boulders, so I don't expect it to be a huge problem. They probably hit a lot harder in melee than... Like, I just imagine whatever their Thaco, their chance to hit, is probably pretty low with the boulders. And yeah, they actually hit with the melee rather than the boulder. Pixel gets a kill. And we start moving everybody up on the front line now. I will just hold back.
Christina's got lots of HP. We'll move her a little bit further down. So I want to make sure everyone can get an attack. Uh, Vala, I don't think is going to be able to make it through the bodies. So what we can do here is delay her turn. And we definitely want uh, Fella in there getting the big hits off. Yeah. Solo murders one of the Frost Giants. I like that. Good work, old pal. Don't believe you can get backstabs on large enemies in this rule set. So we don't have anything fancy to set up with Sarius, unfortunately. Eh, we'll just keep the fella moving up. 33 damage for a melee attack, that's crazy. Crazy good. Anyway, this fight's basically done, no problem. Some people have mentioned that like some of the combat in these games seems really easy. Uh, a lot of that has to do with me being pretty good about min-maxing our armor class. With a lower AC value overall, we'll be getting hit way more often and it'll stack up the damage. It is very hard to heal in these games, like recovering HP is not particularly easy, especially early on low levels. So we would have had a lot more resting required if I hadn't had such good AC. And some of that was because I maximized our stats. Everyone has 18 dexterity, which is another minus four armor class, I believe. Uh, and a lot of strength, which means we hit more often. It just speeds the battles up a bit, makes it a little bit easier. And I, I do agree that it makes it a bit a bit easier, but uh, the real trouble has always been enemy mages and clerics that can cast instant death spells, basically, or their own fireballs. Melee battles usually aren't too bad, although every now and then you will find an enemy that has like a negative 10 AC and they're as tough as one of our guys. <laughs> that happens, so don't feel like we're overpowered. It's just a lot of the random encounters will be against sort of throngs of weaklings. Flight of stairs, I just figure we'll explore up here. This must be where they were like throwing the, I would assume this is where they were throwing the boulders down on us. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I, do, I mean, they've got a village, they must be sentient. Um, maybe we can talk to them? I don't know, it's worth a shot. Uh, I'm pretty charismatic. The frost giant yells, kill them before they get us all! I, see, that's kind of funny, because I was just going to say I'm not really here to kill you, per se. Um, now, you do give me lots of juicy, juicy experience, so I'm not turning down the option to kill you. It's just, you know, we don't have to. We could be friends. Got one. Shinga must be at a high enough level fighter, well, paladin, fighter class, you know what I mean that he can get uh, two attacks every turn nowadays, which is actually really sweet. Fella needs to get that as well. Fella also can move really, really far. Must have given him some, like, boots of something or other. That's part of the problem is I haven't played it in so long, I forget all the magic items we've got for everybody. <laughs> uh, I do kind of like the fact that I slowed down battle speed a little bit. I think it's easier for everybody to see the combat results for, you know, how much damage was dealt and stuff. Although it does slow down the pacing a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of that. But, uh, yeah, we'll just zip right through these. Should be fine. I feel like these are quite worthwhile battles. Um, because we get so much experience for it. I know I didn't even loot them last time. Uh, it's because we don't need money anymore. Um, these games, as, as we've noticed, there isn't a whole lot to purchase, and um, I just, I'm trying to save time by not, you know, identifying every single piece of item and, and picking up hundreds and thousands of platinum coins that mostly just weigh us down. So on some things I'm going to try to save time on, other things I'm going to show off with like reading and thus such. Some things I feel it's worth skipping through faster to save time, others not so much. I do need to finish this game though, so I can't go so- I mean look at that, 18,000 experience for everybody? Nobody's- well I guess I'm almost at a level up, but like, I think we're still at the point in the game where it's only like one or two hundred thousand experience points per level up or something like that, so it shouldn't be that hard. I mean if you want to see, there's like a ridiculous amount of money that would just slow everybody down, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, we don't need it. Just for interest sake. Oh yeah, you can actually see... Was, I was curious if I could show it off, but 
So we got 2.2 million. Maybe it is considerably more than 20,000 or 100,000, 200,000. I bet you Shinga's next level up is like 3 million experience. So maybe it is actually getting to the point where it takes a ridiculous amount of XP to get levels up. Never mind. Do we clear out the guards on the other side? I guess we do. I'll try to do it quickly. You see a group of monsters. We'll still try to talk, but they don't want to talk. <laughs> well, I tried. Oh, these are just straight up monsters. Well, I assume the giants could have talked, but the mastodons were here, so. They're probably not too chatty. Now, unfortunately, Fella went first, and I can't move him over to kill the giants, so he's just gonna have to kill some of these things. I seem to remember these guys actually hitting really hard, though, so. I shouldn't mess around here too much. Why don't I throw in a, a, a stinking cloud? I think I can cast that in a good spot. That'll hit three of them at least. Could try it on the frost giants. They don't seem too bad. Yeah, we'll cast on some mastodons. Good. Good. So two of them completely paralyzed and one of them should have less AC and stuff. Ah, he's just straight up dead. I'm actually going to move Shinga down so that Vala can move in and get a hit as well. Ooh, smashed by a boulder. I have a feeling the Mastodons get like quite a few attacks per round or something. I know you only see one miss animation, but like, I'm pretty sure they, they get a lot of hits. And we have Sarius just finishing them off. Okay, this one doesn't get a free attack because it's paralyzed, so we can move away from it. I will finish it off. I have like the least amount of damage per hit, so... I'm a good finisher off, or instead of doing like 5 damage, I can just one-shot it. Like, you wouldn't want to waste Fella's attack, because he could do 50 damage on a giant, or you could just one-shot a Mastodon. You know what I mean? Like... Damage potential is higher for the fighters. Good. You know, I got a min-max even when the battles are easy. In preparation for future fun. I have heard, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but... Um, that the next game in the series, with the Pools of Darkness, is considerably more difficult than the previous three. That's just scuttlebutt around the internets. But, uh, kind of interested in that. Not that I want the game to be super difficult, I just, you know, I'm, I'm interested in some good... Having to choose my spells wisely and use them more often, I think it's actually fun. Uh, some XP. Bunch of Platinum. I suppose we should heal up Pix a little bit. So why don't we have... Go heal. This is the Lay on Hands type deal. That healed a lot. I think, I think it's when we we learned that he, lay on hands or heal. I'm pretty sure it was the paladin level times two, so it should heal 28 HP, which is what about how much we needed on pixels. So that's, that's really good. And I think once per day. I'll try to talk, but I I assume we're just gonna fight. Yeah, it was kind of inevitable. So I had him attend that one. Oh, in case you're wondering, we're playing the... Well, you can read which album we're playing again. I've actually decided this is one of my favorite um, OC Remix albums. Uh, the Final Fantasy VI uh, Balance and Ruin one. I really enjoy it, so I thought, hey, why not continue playing it? They're probably strong against ice, right? Could try a Cone of Cold, but it just never works for me. Uh, this one has singing, though. No singing allowed. Um, we'll try a Flame Strike. It's a clerical spell. Should be maybe something that can do bonus damage to ice-type monsters. I don't know for sure. I do expect it does fire damage, but... That doesn't mean they have a weakness to fire. This guy's almost dead. We'll try it on this guy. 48 HP... Wow. Either I got really bad luck on the rolls, or maybe they resist fire.
It'd be really cool if there was a, a way in game to see like enemy resistances and stuff. But uh, I think we're gonna have to wait for like Baldur's Gate for that one. Even then, I'm not sure. Maybe the Enhanced Edition has some sort of lore item that lets you see, like, you can see how much HP the enemies have, but maybe... I don't know if you can see their, like, uh, resistance rolls, like how many, what numbers they have to roll to, to avoid paralysis and, you know, all the different stuff. You actually can see it in this game through an editor. For at least your characters, and probably if you want to do um, hex editing, you could probably figure out for each of the enemies what all of their their chances to avoid stuff are, but and whether or not they're strong to ice or fire. There's probably flags for all that. What well, there has to be basically for the game to work, but um, it could prove very difficult to just look up. It might be something that Goldbox Companion could do one day if the guy that uh, that's working on it decides he wants to add something like that. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. In case I haven't mentioned it recently, Goldbox Companion is what gives us the map and the uh, HP bars and XP bars for everybody. It's a really good program if you're planning on playing this game. And I am ready for my level up. Sweet. Alright, well it might not feel like we're making a ton of progress today, but uh, I got level up, so I'm doing good. Just block shut. Well, I guess hopefully because we killed all the guards, we won't get pummeled by ice as we try to bash this open. Ice everywhere, alright. Just the same old thing, climbing over ice, ice falling on us. Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna get smashed again here. Yeah, so there's some more guards raining ice on us. They've got a pretty defensible position here. Well, that only took two tries, that was a bit better. Wow, I hope you guys enjoy fighting, um, frost giants. Because that's like all we're gonna fight today. Maybe I'll, I'll send a fireball for these guys. Try to speed this up a little bit. Of course, you know, if they if they are strong against fire, this won't do that much. But it could just be that uh, Flame Strike is just not as good as I had thought it would be. Fella, you missed! That's terrible! Alright, so I'd like to hit all of them. This should hit them all if I remember my areas. Oh yeah, 47 damage. They're not strong against fire. Flame Strike is just terrible. That was really good. Like, one HP short of just killing half of the party. Ah, Fireball just never ceases to amaze. I, I, I think, unfortunately, the best strategy for this game would actually just to be all of your casters should just learn fireballs for level 3 spells. Like, there are other good level 3 mage spells, but they're not as good as fireball. Basically, like, simple as that. And fireball is better than most of the level 4 and 5 spells too. So, if you could downgrade them, like newer versions of D&D, sometimes you have options to empower spells and change the level at which they're cast, which is pretty cool. You would just try to get as many fireballs as possible, even if you had to use level 4 charges. Which I would totally give up for more fireballs. Ah, well, this is just frost giants everywhere. Maybe you could bribe them. Nope, they're not in a bribing mood. I was thinking, like, you get so much money, but I don't know if I've ever seen that work, so. Hmm, should I throw another fireball in here? Oh, I'm. Okay, hold on. I, sh I should have looked around a little bit first. I'll try another fireball. Like, I only have two fireballs, but I could have three, four fireballs at least, and that'd be pretty awesome. So there's three down there. Oh, they're actually split up kind of annoyingly. I can either hit... Yeah, I can't hit the top left and the bottom right guy at the same time, no matter what I'm going to do here. This... I can't target that part. That will miss that guy. You know what? Vala can just be burned a bit. She'll be fine. Maybe she'll make her... Yeah, she made her save against fire, so... Oh, you know? There's actually some more mechanics uh, in relation to how AoE spells work here. Apparently, they also need line of sight to deal damage. That's kind of neat. It doesn't just hit every tile in the area. 
um, from wherever you target, it must also require um, line of sight to the enemy to also hit it. So like if you're hiding behind a wall, you're actually kind of safe from fireballs. Which makes sense. Uh, I just don't know if I've ever seen that in practice. Okay. And we miss. See, we don't hit every time. Sometimes somebody misses. Alright, good enough. I feel like we're going through these fairly quick, at least. Um, maybe Vala can talk to them. <laughs> we're trying to be nice. I'm out of fireballs now, of course. But Christina has some. I'm sure she's happy to burn these guys. Now, if you're really unlucky, they could have interrupted her spell there if they if they'd been smart and targeted her with the. Uh... Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Okay, well we can only hit uh, seven of them. If they decided to throw a boulder at her, they could have possibly interrupted the fireball. So her 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 spell damage isn't as good as mine. <laughs> I probably could be uh, trying to pick off the weak ones here that took more damage from fire. But I wasn't paying that much attention to which one specifically. But it would save a bit of time, right? I can't get far enough over to hit them though. Ah, oh, Vala took a hit again. A little bit of fire, a little bit of getting hit by a frost giant's axe, yeah, you know. I'm still pretty happy with our team's performance. At least, if you guys really don't want to see me kill frost giants all day, you can just skip through these parts and maybe next episode will be more exciting for you. I wouldn't blame you that much. If you're playing along, uh, skip them if you don't need the experience. I am a completionist at heart, so it's very difficult for me to just ignore these scripted battles. Yeah. I wonder if we can't bribe them is because we don't have any money with us. Now this could be painful actually, hold on a second here. Um. I don't think I have any clerical spells. I mean, uh, resist ice would help, but you can only cast that on like one person at a time. So unfortunately, I'm not even sure. I think resist fire might be like druidic spell actually. I forget. Oh no, resist cold there is. It's probably clerical. Um, well, I wish I'd saved a couple fireballs, huh? I'm gonna try hold monsters. on the ones that are harder for us to hit. But we're probably gonna get some really nasty breath attacks from these guys. Good. One for one. Two for three. Well, two for four. I mean, that's, that's good. Vala doesn't have any magic. Shinga Paladin, probably not gonna be able to help out with magic. If you could kill. Two of these. Alright, we're down four of the possible ice breaths. We got two left. Shin Pixel, you've got you've also got hold monsters. We could give that a try. Could just try a fireball. It was getting dangerous because if these guys got their turn, an ice breath instant cast would have definitely interrupted our fireball. Okay. Christina will be safe. This should hit everything. Really good damage roll. I didn't even need to use hold monsters if it gets max damage, but... Yeah, I didn't even need hold monster. Oh well, wasted a charge. 
It hurts! That's a lot of damage. But, uh... Nobody's dead, so... I mean, I think I did as good as I, I could. I, I killed as many ice dragons as I could before they got a chance to kill us with the breath. I knew the breath was coming. I think because we did deal damage to it... Um, sorry, singing. Uh, I do think because we dealt some damage to them, if I remember how dragon breath attacks work, I think the damage they deal is based on their current HP rather than their maximum HP. So we might have still saved us a bit of damage with that fireball that way. And we hit all the, well, we hit most of the uh, frost giants. Speeds things up a little bit. I want Fella to finish them. Thank you, fella. Giant Slayer Extraordinaire. So here's a question. Can we use Encamp Fix? Bam, oh, we sure can. If there was random encounters, that might not have worked. There's always a chance you can sleep through the day anyway, but it doesn't always work. Okay, that's cool. So we're all healed up. 26 minutes. Well, we'll try to finish this room at least and maybe open the next uh, door. Hopefully we're getting into the ice. Like, I hope this doesn't just go on for like 10 rooms, because that'd be pretty cheap. I mean, you can see though, we're getting, like, the XP bars for people are definitely filling up quickly. Um, I think Fella and Shinga and Christina, Sarah, like they're all actually getting a lot of, they're getting very close to another level up is what I'm trying to say. So I'm glad I'm doing this, even though it's very repetitive and basically the same battle over and over again. I think it's worth it. No. Don't attack. Um. Oh, she's got lightning bolt. Oh, oh I. Two moves. It's fine. From here, a lightning bolt will work just fine. I do like lightning bolts. It's fun. Please don't interrupt. Okay, so. I'm not sure how the angle will work here. Uh, and I believe lightning bolts can go between four squares and eight squares. I think it's like a 50-50 chance. So from the point you target, it'll start damage there. And then it can travel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or something like that. Um, or four. So I'm going to cast it like here. And if I'm lucky, it will hit like four of your four or five frost giants, bounce on the wall, and then come back and hit them again. And it's got a really good damage roll. It does the same amount of damage as the fireball, just it's a bit harder to AoE. Oh man, that's it didn't reflect, but it still did a really good that was that was really good. <laughs> it may not have done the reflection bonus that I was kind of hoping of. Maybe it's not a 50-50 like four range or eight range. Maybe it's like you roll a dice and you get somewhere between four and eight squares. Could be like that. Still, it's nice to see a spell other than Fireball do well. Uh, Lightning Bolt is, like, almost exact... Well, it's, I think it's dice-wise exactly the same damage as Fireball. Uh, but I also don't think very, very few enemies will resist Lightning. Like, possibly nothing except maybe the Golems. We have seen something. Was it, like, the Goo? There was, like, some slime, I think, in the previous game that Lightning might not have worked on. But generally it's pretty good. Lots of things re resist fire and ice basically. Kind of miss setting up back attacks. We need to fight some human sized enemies so I can start working on that again because that's fun. I like, I like that tactical setup trying to get good back attacks to do five times damage or whatever. This is nice having a thief. All right. People are getting a lot of XP. That is good. And please tell me this is different than the last one. All right. Guards retreating to the self. Okay, this might be different, but it's 30 minutes, so I gotta wrap it up here. <laughs> well, guys, <coughs> hopefully, um, we can do something different than fighting hordes of frost giants in the next battle or the next episode, whatever you want to call it. Um, this has been Blue Anculo, and you've been the person watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and uh, have a great day.
See you next time.